what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so there is a bunch of stuff to talk about relating to screen five i know this is the fourth week of filming um we found out a couple of details regarding when Nev Campbell will be on set. We found out uh, some reasons to get more hyped about the project. If you still have doubts, then you just still have doubts. More behind the scenes picks. And now we're gonna talk about the possibilities of us having a lot of flashback sequences. We know Jenna Ortega has already hyped up the project in the past and she just wants to fulfill and live up to the legacy of what came before this project that they're currently working on in wilmington north carolina they did start shooting that driving scene that i mentioned in a previous video and it looks like that's going to be involving judy hicks i'll get into that later uh, something else regarding a potential new variation of the ghost face mask which we've gotten in every every screen film so i don't know why that's a big shock to everybody i think a lot of people misinterpreted that but just to kick things off with kyle gallner um kyle gallner he sat down with collider recently and he just had some tidbits to share about screen five because there are a lot of people who just they're doubtful about this film given that it's not being held by wes craven we're not going to have that same magic that we had before we know it's going to be a, a different touch to it a different feel and a different vibe and just to put some put some reassurance in people's heads he had the following to say during this recent interview with Collider talking about the upcoming screen project since he is one of the cast members. Um, he basically went over the fact that he's the first person to say no to any type of reboot. But what he found really, really cool about the Screen 5 script is that there's a lot of similar kind of magic with that the first one had, uh, which he found to be really cool. And he thinks that us, the audience, fans of the Scream franchise, horror movie lovers, people who really dug the original movie, we're going to dig this upcoming fifth installment. Now, he's not the only person that has gone out of his way to say that recently. He, he, Jenna Ortega, Kevin Williamson, Nev Campbell, uh, David Arquette, Courtney Cox, they're all giving this stamp of approval. And of course, yes, for publicity reasons, but also something in my gut tells me that this, this has the, the, the potential to be one of the better sequels we've gotten since Scream 2, if not the best sequel uh, that's going to replace Scream 2 with that title. I, I could easily see it happening. There's a lot of potential here with this with this franchise, and I know a lot of people have speculated that Kyle Gallner might actually even be Ghostface in the film, might be the son of Billy Loomis. Uh, I have my eyes set on this guy right here, Clay Jensen, Dylan Minnette. I have my eyes set on you. Um, I hope you are Ghostface in some capacity. If you're not the main killer, then maybe one of the helpers. And that's another thing we need to talk about. Um, we recently got some type of possible hint that we could be seeing multiple killers in the film so i'll get into that later when i get into talking about the mask but getting into the lovely nev campbell nev campbell recently sat down with uh entertainment entertainment online or entertainment tonight and she has done a bunch of interviews over the past couple of weeks as we know to talk about the project talk about her role reprising the role of sydney prescott how exciting that is and she gave a shout out recently to drew barrymore during another recent sketch that just or another recent video clip that just came out that i don't have here to show but in this recent interview with with entertainment tonight she stated that she's leaving soon and she's looking forward to getting back to work uh it will be the first time since march and she is sure and she's sure we're dealing with and i'm sure we're all dealing with getting back to work so i am excited about that i'm excited stepping back into sydney's shoes and seeing courtney and david she continued those movies mean so much to me for my life and career and they are always a blast to do so it should be fun so she's definitely looking forward of course to being reunited with her co-stars nev uh nev campbell and david arquette courtney cox all reunited once again when the first image of those three leaks online i know that's going to be just music to everybody's ears there's going to be a wet dream for everybody <laughs> uh but jumping into the new ghost face mask discussion that's going around so there was a recent sit down between Ghostface co uk and roger or rj Tol Tol torbert rj tarbert i hope i'm pronouncing that name correctly um, they basically went over the fact during a recent sit down they had where RJ was a guest on the Ghostface Co. UK that we could expect to see another variation 
of the mask now i don't know what the big deal was here for a lot of people i think it was just his wording that threw people off we've had variations of this mask before uh, I think what he made clear is that we're not going to have the ultra white version that we've been seeing since 2011. The main killer, because he did use the words main killer, will have a different variation to it. So we could expect to see something resembling the ultra white mask, but it's going to be pretty obvious that who who our main killer will be because they're going to stand out. So I think that lets us know his wording there is what I was talking about earlier. That lets us know that we can expect to see multiple killers involved in this front in this upcoming entry in screen five and we are going to get another variation of the mask to Ghostface as we all know all of the sequels have had some type of variation in the mask so I don't really get what the big deal was other than the fact that the main killer is going to possibly have some type of silver silver mold to it not the ultra white mold that we've been seeing since 2011 so we're just going to get a different variation and he made it perfectly clear that the main killer will have a variation of that so him using the term main killer is what's now confirming to us as we've already already seen in the previous films uh that's going to be factoring into scream scream 5 and us having different variations of the mask so i can't wait to see what happens there with that uh and if my audio just tuned out a bit, I sorry, I'm, I apologize. I think I turned away from my mic for a brief second. Something was behind me. <laughs> so getting back into it, it looks like we now have another cast member on board. Nothing official has come out from Paramount or anyone else involved in the project. But it looks like the gentleman in the back, the black gentleman, Reggie Conquest, who is a comedian, he has secured some type of role in the project. If he's in this film, I'm expecting him to be possibly a sheriff of some sort, not a sheriff, but, you know, one of Dewey's. Uh, deputies of some sort like Judy Hicks a cop under Dewey I don't know what role he would be feeling otherwise and then this is just an image uh, a recent image of a ghost face figure that I've been seeing floating around online if you look at the mask you get a kind of like a general feeling that this is more along the lines of being silver in color silver in nature so maybe this is one of the variations that the main ghost face killer will have and not the ultra white that we've seen since screen four or that we've seen in screen four and other things maybe we'll have like a a silver tint to the mask this time which looks pretty cool in my opinion and then here you have a clip of judy hicks uh apparently driving down the road and they're filming here's images from behind the scenes now look at this this looks like neil prescott's car this looks like neil's neil prescott's car so it's very clear that we're going to be getting some type of uh some type of flashback sequence if this is actually neil prescott's car and then what i also wanted to touch on really quick jumping back to nev campbell she did mention that she would be jumping back into the swing of things regarding filming and we should expect to see her on set uh two weeks from now so she should be on set within two weeks this is an image here that melissa barrera shared earlier this week on her instagram story uh they carved the pumpkin pumpkin with the ghost face mask obviously to represent the movie they're filming screen five they're all excited about it they can't wait for this movie to come out and just based off of all these old images that are not old but all these images that i have here to show you guys look at this this is shout out to uh what's filming at it's filming on twitter uh i know a lot of people have been taking your work and removing your watermarks so i just wanted to make sure i shout you out uh for sharing these images online look at this news van this is the same news van that rebecca got thrown onto at the at the uh portion of screen four when she died after leaving the hospital um and then here's another image that's about to appear on this image we have a woodsboro police car now this woodsboro woodsboro police car woodsboro police car is clearly a modern car so no need to worry about screen five being a prequel because i've been seeing people talk about that i don't think we're going to have a prequel on our hands it's just very obvious that we're going to have a lot of heavy flashbacks involved and if 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 we're going to have a lot of heavy flashbacks and if it's the route that i been told that they're going i think a lot of people will be satisfied with this movie i think a lot of people will be satisfied with this movie because they do they could do some type of variation but it looks like we're going to be getting something regarding an ending that i got told and if they're going that route i can't wait to see what happens i can't wait to see how it's all executed and, and unfolds on screen because that's ultimately going to be what determines what makes it good or not in my opinion uh, more set images setting up just judy hicks you know driving down the road in her cop car where is she going i have no idea but i did want to say there's another angle that was out there showing her and it looked like a silver car was there now for all the people who want to jump to extreme conclusions you know who drives a silver car so that might have been kirby might have been kirby might have been hayden pantier being hidden on set for whatever reason or another 
but yeah that's all i have really for this video here today uh here's another image of the cop car woodsboro police department cop car uh, that's all i really have for you guys here today i know that we'll get some more details coming out soon and again reggie as far as i'm concerned he hasn't been officially announced by anyone else but it's just a rumor for right now he could be announced in the coming days if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video